I've introduced myself to some of you, but for those that don't know, my name is Holly. I'm the gallery manager of the Spirit Room. And uh, Dawn sends her apologies. She couldn't make it this evening. But thank you all for joining us. And uh, Matt here is from the North Dakota Museum of Art. And he's going to be giving the talk on Elder Thompson this evening. So thank you for making the drive for us. No, no problem. No problem. <laughs> if anybody has any questions, feel free. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to answer them, but I'll try, I'll try. So I'm, uh, my name is Matthew Wallace, I'm the Deputy Director at the North Dakota Museum of Art for Grand Forks. And um, so as a state museum, we have a program where we take exhibitions such as this out to uh, communities all around the state. Um, we've been doing that since 2004 when I moved back to North Dakota. And uh, every year we take one or two exhibitions primarily focusing on small communities under 2,000 people um, during the school year. And our, our hope is that we install it in a uh, town and then we try to get all of the communities within a 50 or 60 mile radius to bring their school kids to these exhibitions. We create lesson plans for them and, and work with the teachers and make sure that uh, um, they can give tours and, and it sort of becomes a community project and it stays there for a couple of weeks and then we go pick it up and we take it to the next town. And uh, so we spend a lot of time on the road. And, but the fun part is we get to do this. And we get to install shows and new spaces and meet new people all around the state. Um, when it's not the school year, we tend to focus on sort of bigger uh, towns in the state and, um, or, or try to bring an exhibition to a town that's having a festival where there's a high traffic area. So a lot of times in the summertime, we're, we're probably in, in here or Bismarck or uh, Dickinson or some, somewhere along those lines. Um, but this is an exhibition, a black and white exhibition. The, how this came about was there's a gentleman in Grand Forks who retired, well, he still farms. He's a farmer and a gra graphic design artist. And in his father's attic was boxes of glass plates from Elmer Thompson. Um, this gentleman's father and Elmer were, were good friends. They were both engineers and admired each other very, very much. Um, and so when he found these plates, you know, he started digging through them, and Paul came to us and he said, would this ever be of interest to the Museum of Art? And we said, yeah, absolutely. So a couple years later he came and he had all these prints made. So as a graphic design artist, he uh, Really was very good at what he was doing. So he scanned all of these prints. Um, these are all digital prints from, from the plates that he used. And uh, he curated this, the whole exhibition. So he researched all of the photos. Um, he did a lot of, spent a lot of time in Bismarck. Um, Elmer was a photographer for the state normal and industrial school in Ellendale, North Dakota. And, uh, you know, people probably know that that is, was a early teacher's college there. And um, so he was hired to, to document the school, but he also did a good job of documenting the community, and he did a wonderful job of practicing his, his art of photography. Um, so he was a very good photographer. He was also a very, very good um, inventor. So I think if you read it, he had over 30 inventions. Uh, patents to his name. So he was a pioneer in early radio and television um, development. And he's just made some wonderful things. And as you can see, um, so here are some of his uh, photos of him working, um, but it's also one of his personal inventions, which is like artillery shell banjo. So while he had time to kill, he uh, developed a uh, big part in the artillery shell and made a, made a banjo out of it, which is um, in the Smithsonian's collection now. Um, but he's also developed the first wireless remote. Um, he peddled it to the military back then, and they couldn't imagine ever needing a wireless remote. So they passed on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, what you see is, is uh, an uh, exhibition that gets into, I think, North Dakota history, the life of them on the plains. Um, an exhibition that dabbles in some of the um, you know, world history as well. Uh, Elmer was overseas during World War I. Um, 
came back in 1919, I think it was, something like that. Um, but what you can see is a lot of Elmer practicing his artistic trait. So as a, as a hired photographer to document the school, he also played a lot with um, some of his trick shots. And most of those are around here and around the corner. A lot of what you see is he shot with a 5x7 format camera. Uh, I think it was a Sears camera, actually. And uh, what you see is double exposures. He did a lot of double exposures where himself or his uncle or some, somebody he knew, uh, what he would do is he would tape off half of the lens, shoot to the shot, flip the scene, tape off the other half of the lens, and then shoot it again. Um, so you can see a lot of his, his trick shots there. Uh, one of my favorite ones is uh, he's supposed to photograph the mechanics class um, on a steam thresher. So he had them bring the steam thresher out to the point where the stack on the steam thresher aligned with the coal stack way in the background. So that steam thresher is not running. That's the coal plant. <laughs> Quite a ways into the background. Um, some of his other um, shots, if you look at the interior of uh, some of the classroom shots, he is taking the windows off or taking the, the tape off of the, of the paper off of the window. So depending on what he was trying to accomplish, he would seal off the outside light or else let, let them in. So he was playing with natural light a lot in um, some of his earlier ones over here. So, um, it's, it tells the story of, I guess, one very brilliant man, um, but it also tells, I think, the story of, of um, the area, you know, uh, growing up in North Dakota, moving on and doing all kinds of work with Philco and AT&T and, and living in New York and working on some very cutting edge technology at the time. So it's a, a very fun exhibition. There is a, a video that you can watch here. And that, uh, I think it's up and running. But, yeah, we um, just need press play. Elmer's, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the, the gentleman who curated the show, Paul Grunwald, grew up in Edmore, North Dakota, where Elmer grew up. And Paul's father and Elmer were, were best friends. And um, Paul found a video that his father had made an interview with Elmer before he passed away. So um, there's a very kind of interesting talk with him over there, and just sort of happened upon this whole project in the upstairs of his father's house. So we're fortunate that uh, he did. And now um, it's here. And as part of our rural arts program, this will start touring um, the rest of the state um, this summer and then for one year. What a cool happenstance. Yeah. What's that? What a cool happenstance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what's unique about the bedroom? Um, it's made out of artillery shell. So the backing here, you see the center fire there? So it's a large artillery shell that he cut and turned into a banjo. The, um, the tuning forks up here are um, shells. Yeah. So it's a, it's a handmade um, banjo that uh, is now like said, in Smithsonian collections. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, so it's a, a rare, rare piece. So I don't know if you'll be able to answer. Uh -huh. You were saying that he shot a lot of his pieces with a 5 by 7 Yes. Do you know are. much about the process of that? I do not, no. This is a very, it's an old um, format that he, that he used at the time. I thought I'd venture into it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's some photographers that'll tell you all about it. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's piles of it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Is that the New York Stock Exchange? This is, uh, it is New York, um, and it's from his office at AT&T, yeah. Oh, AT&T building? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. This is uh, East. Yeah. All right, I got another obscure question. Yes. There's a classroom photo of them doing a performance over here, mm -hmm. and they've all got their hands raised. Yeah. Do you know what that's about? Um, no, he may have just set them up to do that. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's the, uh, the, I think that's the women's choir group of the school. Okay. Um, um, they're on stage. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. singing. So I think, yeah, they're singing, and, and you can see he, he poses them. It's, I think what's kind of interesting is he, he does pose them very, very well. 
and he's able to even get smiles out of some of them. Oh, uh, you know, there was, yeah. there was time when they got their photograph taken and no one smiled for a photograph. Okay. And you can see that these people are really loose and having a good time, and, and, and yet yeah. they're holding still enough that he can take the, the photo. I mean, this was during a time where, you know, photos took 15 to 30 minutes for you to process, essentially. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't blame anyone for not smiling. <laughs> yeah, so. I like the little baby moving in the photo over there. Yeah. It's cute. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little touch. Wow. So and he had two, I mean, he had a first wife and then yes. a stepdaughter, I mean, right? Yep, and then uh, married, yeah, then he married another, I and mean, I don't know what the circumstances no. were, but yeah. Maybe the first wife died. Yes, yeah. so because, 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 because she was a stepdaughter. Right? Yeah. And she's the one who gave some of this to Paul. Um, oh. These were in Paul's father's house. And uh, oh, Elmer probably Sorry, I think it's a duet. At some point. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. And um, like I said, they were they were friends. And Thank you. Um, Paul's father did a lot of interviews with people, yeah. especially as he got older. And one of the interviews that he was that he did was with Elmer. He was able to capture um, the conversation with him. Yeah. You'll see. That'd be a, is it a short video? Long yeah, long I don't know. Twenty twenty five minutes. Out of here. Well, we're going to watch the video. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. They'll, they'll tell you more about the show than I can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. So he, he, he graduated here in North Dakota and went, went to Hollywood oh. for a period of time? He grew up in Edmore and then and then cool. he went down to the That's state awesome. normal school as a photographer. Um, and I think he graduated in North Dakota, but then he went out to California and got his electrical engineering degree in uh, California. After the military? Or? Uh, it would have been probably, yeah, probably would have been after the military. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Can you like the video? Yeah, I think uh, she's going to put it on. And, yeah. yeah. Hopefully you can hear it. It's uh, Should be. a little bouncy, but yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I could thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.